Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. No. Turn the bedroom lights dark blue. Okay. Ah, that's better. Good morning. I am still deciding whether or not to go to Epcot today, but yeah. Um, if I go, it'll be in the afternoon. I'll explain a little bit later, but if I post this video, if I, if I decide to go, this makes it the day that I decided to go to Epcot. So, or back to Disney. So, let's go. Hi guys, it's me, Allie. I'm awake. <laughs> it's actually, um, time is it? It's 2.09 p.m. Hope you have a good Tuesday. Oh, thank you. So it's actually two in the afternoon. Um, I already have my breakfast. I already chilled. Uh, I already have my lunch. Um, so now it's time to get ready um, to go to Epcot during a pandemic. Before anything, I just want to state the following. I have been thinking about this a lot. I've been scared to go back, to be honest with you. And it's because obviously we're in a pandemic. I don't really trust <laughs> uh, this process, but a lot of people have been saying that it feels more safe than if you go to a grocery store or if you go to Target or Walmart. And the reason they say this is because first of all, it's outdoors. And second, no one does a better job at mandating masks than Disney. So I want to see if that's true. There's a reason I'm going on a Tuesday in the afternoon. And it's because obviously, you know, there have been pictures of really huge crowds. And those are the crowds I actually want to avoid. But I'm going to try this strategy that is going in the afternoon at Epcot during the week. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know. So here's my plan. If I see there's a big crowd and I cannot social distance, I'm leaving. If I see someone not properly wearing their masks, um, when it comes to CDC guidelines and social distancing, I take it really seriously. I'm, I'm going to take my hand sanitizer. I'm going to take my wipes. So we shall see if it's, if it's worth it, you know? So here we go. I'm not doing from here down because I'm gonna be wearing a mask. Earrings are important to accessorize. Am I right? <sighs> oh, it feels so good to put it on. Put it on. nervous I'm actually pretty nervous I have my wallet wipes portante, hand sanitizer and sadly this is one that I bought that I don't like very much but you know what whatever it's like the tequila smell Ugh. but you know it does the job it's okay okay this matches but this looks cute you know what, I'm taking both. Oh my God. We're ready. So I'm in the car and you know, the purpose of this is just to know if it's, oh my God. So I am in the car ready to leave. And you know, the purpose of this whole thing is to know if it's actually safe or not. If, if they're actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, there's plenty of people coming from across the country. I don't want to get sick. Um, and trust me, I'll make sure. <laughs> I take precaution. Um, you know, I do live with my parents still because I'm in college, I'm in my last year of college. So it's something I have to be really considerate about. So is it safe? We'll find out.
nervous, uh, but just a reminder, if I see big crowds, I'm leaving. If I see uh, people not social distancing, I'm leaving. If I see a lot of people without the masks on, and as you can see, I already have my mask on. So let's get ready to rumble, right? <laughs> Create 43, I'm here. So the reason I decided to come to Epcot first is because um, when I normally see the crowds, um, the big crowds in the pictures, it's normally Magic Kingdom and uh, Hollywood. here but 
but at the same time, it doesn't feel too crowded. If anything, um, it's nice. Started through Canada. And I'm so sorry. I'm apologizing to those who look down upon me. I'm ashamed. I should have started in Mexico like everyone else does. I just want to have one drink and the line is too long. It's not that, you know, they're really well socially distanced but I'm just impatient. I just want to drink now. This line is always full. Always. Okay, so here we go. So I am away from people. Uh, both sides stationary. My drink is here. I'm taking my mask off. And I'm having Mexican craft beer because it was only $5 and the line was short. So cheers. Oh. Face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all times, except for actively eating or drinking while stationary. Guests that do not comply will be asked to leave. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose. And so you guys heard the warning, and as you can see, I am stationary, and I'm gonna try this Mexican draft beer. Here we go. It's good. It's good. For $5, it's good. I wouldn't pay more than five, but. So, so far it's been a day that it's been on and off with the rain, but um, that hasn't stopped people, you know, from coming, from leaving. Um, but it's a good, it's a good number. You can socially distance. Um, you can stay away from people. I have not seen anyone with their masks off. Um, as you heard, they play this message over and over again of uh, that if you do not wear the mask properly, you are asked to leave. So they're enforcing it. I haven't seen anyone th with the mask off or with the mask under the nose. So that's good. Um, people are away from me. That's good. So, so far. Oh, look, the sun. So the experience so far is, is good. And I'm impressed. I was scared to come. Um, so it's good. It's good that I came and now I know. So yeah. Just finished my drink. Let's hit the road, Jack. Won't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. You know the song. All right, let's keep going. I think we're gonna go to the last stop for today. Um, cause I have to leave and be somewhere soon. So, where are we going? <laughs> I think I have an idea. Journey 
into imagination with figment because obviously it's the best right here right guys no like seriously right like i'm not crazy this is the best ride here socially distanced to talk but pretty much I've been wanting to go back to Disney you know since the reopening but at the same time I'm taking this pandemic really seriously there were a few images in the first week that scared me I'm gonna admit it um, I saw a lot of people I saw a lot of uh, groups going on and, and stuff but the more I talk to people they tell me the pictures are very misleading. And also they tell me that it's really important when and at what time you go, like what day you go, what time you go. So what I decided to do was I went on a Tuesday at three o'clock in the afternoon. It, it was just to see if it made a difference because when you see the pictures from the weekend, you see they're at either at capacity at Universal or you see a big group at, Disney, you know, passes are uh, uh, passed out already. So did this work? Does this make a difference for me going back to Disney, um, going to Epcot and seeing how empty it was compared to what I used to see? It was really nice. Now I said at the beginning, if 
I saw, a, you know, a lot of people I was gonna leave. If I saw people without their masks on, I was gonna leave. If, I, if people did not social distance, I'm gonna leave. But I did not leave. But what I like about Disney is that they enforce, um, they were enforcing the masks and people are taking it seriously. So I, just, I didn't see anyone with their masks off unless they were stationary and eating or drinking. So I did have a drink and I was away from people. I didn't even have people six feet away from me. I would say like probably like 20 feet away from me because again, I'm taking this pandemic seriously and I just, you know, I'm not gonna take any risks here, not even for Disney, but it felt nice. Everything was clean. You know, when you got on the rides, there were, you know, a car empty in between and I was by myself for the very first time and it was nice why didn't I think why didn't I do it before I don't know but they normally leave a car empty in between parties um, when I went to spaceship earth I was by myself there was no one behind me and then there was no one in, in the front uh, car or in the back also, when I went on Figment, the same thing. Um, I was by myself, there was no one sitting behind me, and there was no one sitting in the car in front of me or behind. Um, now, when it, came, when it came to the World Showcase, there were more people in the World Showcase. But again, if you have gone pre-pandemic, <laughs> you're like, whoa, because you are normally just walking fast and just going in between people and then, you know, hitting each other shoulder to shoulder. And it didn't feel like that. Like, it just felt like if there were people, I was able to stay away. And if they were with their masks off stationary, they were far away. So what does, what happens here? Is it safe? Yes. Um, depends on the day and time. <laughs> That's what I say. Um, now, is it worth it? to pay a ticket to go to Disney? Probably not, because what I think is, even on a weekend, when you go, my advice is to go in the afternoon. My advice is to go in the afternoon because everyone says in the afternoon, everything dies down. And it was kind of sad because in a few days, a lot of cast members are gonna be laid off and honestly, like, I went today and, you know, I was nice to everyone. Um, I don't know if people at the parks working already are going, going to be laid off, but um, this is a message to the cast members that are, and I'm so sorry. And, you know, um, this is a pandemic. We're all going through it. We're here for you. There's plenty of resources. If you want to donate to help cast members, I'll try to put it in the link below. Um, it's really important, but you know, if you see a cast member in the next few days, make sure to say hi and to be nice to them because they're not, you know, they're not going through, um, they're, they're going through it right now. Some of them is their last day, um, on Saturday. So be nice, be gentle, stay social distance, keep your mask on. And is it safe? Did it pass the test? Yes, again, um, it didn't hit the 25% capacity today, so it did feel a little bit better. It did feel different than what, I, what I've been seeing in the pictures. So if you want to go on a day that is empty and that is chill, go on a Tuesday or go on a Monday or go on a Wednesday. I wouldn't even say Thursday. I would just go between Monday and Wednesday after 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. But yeah. Thank you guys. Today was a fun day. I went to Disney by myself for the very first time. So it was fun and I'll definitely go by myself again. <laughs> Subscribe, um, like, comment. Have you gone to Disney? Are you planning to go to Disney? Um, you can also tweet because I'm always on Twitter. It's at Talk with Ali. I'll, I'll reply to you. I'll DM you back. Whatever you want. Let's talk. You know I love talking. So have a magical rest of your day. Okay. No, let's not do that.
Let's do have an awesome, awesome day. Um, okay, bye. 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 <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, guys. I'm done. <laughs>